Hello everyone. In the previous session, we learned about the write cell activity and read cell activities. In this session, we are going to learn about read column and read row activities. Before that, let me explain you the Excel which we are going to work right now on these two activities. One is read column and the other one is read row. What exactly it means? If you see on my screen that I'm having some data which belongs to students and their respective class and respective marks which they are, you know, perceived in their examination or which they got in their examination. If you see over here, this is the column. If you see, I'm, I have selected the column of student name. This is the entire column. And after that, if you see there are the different columns that were having re, uh, student name, class, subject. These are all of the subjects and their respective marks, which they have got in their exams. And after that, you can see the sum of the marks, which they got it and the percentage of the marks. Now what we are going to do, I'm going to read this entire column. This is the scenario which I'm going to explain. I want to read the column, which column, if I want to read the column of the students, just I will go ahead and read the columns by using UI path with the activity of read column. And if I want to read the row, so I want to read this row, like I assume, let us assume that I want the name, student name and uh, his class and the marks, then what I will do, I will go for the row, right? This entire row, I will read the row and then I will read them and I will print them by using UI path. These two scenarios I'm going to explain in, uh, in this session. Let me switch to UI path studio. Now, if you see my project, in the previous project, I have explained about the you no know, read cell and the write cell. Let me double click on that on the main.xaml file. You can see this is the, in the previous session that we have explained. If you're still, you know, if you want to know about this read cell and the write cell, please watch my previous video, which belongs to day 16. Now I'm going to add one more XAML file, or let me add one more sequence by clicking and right click and then I will go for add and then I'm going to add a sequence. Okay, this sequence, what I will give the name as read column and read row. Just so you know, we are going to be anyhow that we are going to work on the activity. So that's the reason I'm just giving the sequence name as like this. Let me go ahead, let me create it. And then if you see over here, this is the uh, sequence name which I have been given right now, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop this Excel scope. To open any kind of Excel, I have to use Excel application scope. Let me drag and drop this activity on my screen first or on my panel. So as I said, that I'm going to work with this Excel, right? So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to give that path where I'm having that, uh, you know, student marks. Let me go to the path and if you see i have already copied in the student uh, you know in the uh, in the parent path of the project or i can say the project where it has been created okay let me select the student marks and then click on open now or else what you will do just you can directly go ahead and you can give the entire path or else you can just go ahead and do this way now first of all what we are going to do we are going to read the column now, if you see in my activities, I am under the application app integration. I'm having Excel again under Excel that you have read column. First of all, we'll go with the read column. Okay. Now let me drag and drop read column on my do activity. Okay. Now, if you see, first of all, we'll see the properties of the read column. Let me go. Let me select this read column activity and let me go to the properties. Now, if you see the display name is, no, I, the name I have given as read column. If you want to change it, you can change it. It automatically affects over here. And the main thing is that sheet name, that uh, the second property, we will call it as a sheet name. What is the sheet name? 
whichever the sheet that you are going to access in the particular path that is student mouse.xlx file that is the sheet name and starting cell now over here if you see let me go back to my excel if you see over here by default that it will start from a1 can you see over here that a1 the column is starting from a1 that is called starting cell okay this is starting cell which it is going to be giving it right and you can see this is the sheet name these are the two things this is the starting cell if i want to start from a2 let assume if i give a2 that the column entire column it will start from a2 this is how we are going to define starting cell okay and what are the values we have stored whatever the values we are having in the column that if i want to store in a result where i can so the output we can go ahead and we can give in the result now to create a variable what we are going to do from the keyboard control k that is set variable i can say rad column i can say read column uh, column and click enter now let me go to variables and you can see the read columns is the name of the variable and variable type i enumerable enumerable of the object you can see system dot collection dot generic dot i i enumerable is the system dot objects that what we have and you can see the scope by default the uh, the value of the scope is do activity we are doing in do right that's the reason the scope is that now what will happen what are the values that we are having in the particular column all the values will be stored in i enumerable that is the variable type okay this is what will happen you now if you are going to use the read column now for the time being i will put it a1 over here and i will show you later on by changing to a2 okay so i am going to save it by clicking on the control s or from directly going to save over here you can do that you can see the shortcut over here control s now what are the values are coming in i numerable right i want to print somewhere so you are having the collection of data over there correct but how can i read each and every row correct there where i am going to use for each activity in the previous sessions i have shown you already for each activity how to use it if you are not aware of that one please go ahead and uh, no learn about the for each from the, my previous videos now when you type for the activities for each you can find workflow under control you will find for each so let me drag and drop into the do a panel and then i'm going to release over here now what i'm going to do i have saved the entire read column in the output of the read column i'm going to read each and every value by using for each so you can see for each item in in of what read column if you see over here automatically read column came it now i'm going to read each and every value of which we are having in the read column and then to print that i am going to display in the message box for that what i am going to do i am typing message box let me drag and drop into the body of for each now in the for each i am just going to display item item so what will happen over there in the item i need to sometimes we are having some integer values or some kind of double values i need to convert into the string right then what i'm going to do item dot to string i'm just going to give it item dot to string it's i'm going to convert the value into the string format because of message box will uh, you know will accept only variables uh, sorry we only string values okay now let me go ahead let me save it let me explain you again once again the process by using excel scope i'm going to read student marks student marks which is containing all these student name classes and all these things i'm just opening it but by using read column i'm going to read from the sheet one of the column from starting from the cell of a1 read column a1 is nothing but that the particular column i'm going to read it okay then what i'm going to do i'm reading all the values starting from the a1 to the remaining what of b1 c1 sorry a1 a2 a3 and all these things that i'm going to read it and then i'm going to store the value in the read column variable and then for each i to print this 
values I'm going to use for each activity. So for each activity, what are the values that I'm going to get it in the item, I'm going to display in the message box by using item.toString. I hope now you understand it. Let me go ahead, let me save it. Let me run the bot by using F5. Now, if you see the read column, read row sequence has been started and you can see in the Excel, the first value of A1 is student name. That's the reason it has been started from the student name. Now, let me go ahead, let me click on student name. Now you can see Amir. It is going through for loop and then you can get Ajay all the values which you are having it. It's a continuously you are going to get it and you can see I'm having a lot of values. Last one is the hurry. Right? You can see the value of hurry that you got it this entire column that you read it by using read column. Now what I'm going to do once again, now I'm going to change the value of the starting cell. Now let's see what will happen if I'm going to put it A5. So the starting cell is for A5. Now let me go to A5. What is the value of A5? It will start from A5, that is nothing but Ajay is the value from Ajay onwards. It will print in the message box, Ajay Bara till hurry that it will go ahead, right? Now let me go ahead, let me run the bot once again. Now if you see, it has been started with Ajay. And then let me click on OK. Read. If you want to change the column B1 or B column, if you want to read it, you can put it starting from B1 and then, you know, you can read the values of the B column. Okay. Now what I'm going to do in the same session, I'm going to show you how to read the row. Row is nothing but if I want to read the row, this is the way, this is the row. Let us assume I want A5. Okay. Now, how can I go ahead and read that? Let me show you that. So over here, if you see, I have used read column, right? Let me delete this one. And what I'm going to do in the same way, if I want to add read column, read row, I'm going for the app integration. And then you can see over here, read row. Under, under read column, you can see in the, you know, we have seen this one read column. Right now we are going to read row. Let me drag and drop read row into my drop activity. Now we'll see the properties of the read row first. Okay. There's no major differences for the read column as well as the read row. Just only one thing is that the, uh, it will goes read column will goes vertically and read column read row will goes for the horizontal read column will goes for the vertical. That is the major difference what we have. Okay, now if you see the, the same properties that what we have, that is display name, sheet name, and the starting cell, and you know, you are having the output. Now, what we are going to do, now let me take the properties, and I'm going to give the output over here, where I want to save the output. How can I go and create a variable? By clicking on Control K, right? This one, I'm going to put it as read row. Let me click on Enter. Now you can see, read row. It is also the same variable type that we are having innumerable for the generic. And then if you see previously we have created read column, both are the same. And then you can see in the scope only. Now I'm going to read that one, right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change for each of which value that I am from read row that I'm going to select read row and then click on enter. Let me, let me save it. Now, let me go ahead, let me execute the bot. Now, if you see over here, A1 is student name, and it is going to be like this, right? It's a horizontally. Now, if you see class, Hindi, and all these things, right? Let me go ahead. Now, if you see class, Hindi, English, Telugu, Math, Science, and so on, you can see total and percentage. After that, the bot is going to be stopped, and then it is going to be written stop reading. Now if you see, now I will change the starting cell to B1. Right? What will happen? It will start from starting cell is B1 so that it will go ahead and it will read it. Let me go ahead, let me execute that. Now if you see, the starting cell is B1 so that it is starting from the class. Let me go ahead and let me click OK. And if you see, it is 
going on with the social total and the percentage right now what i will do i will change from a2 okay a2 is nothing but second row second row starting from a from the column a right now it will start in a such a way oh okay now i have just removed double quotes over here now let me start it let me debug once again now if you see you will get the details of the particular student right amir okay his class is one and 85 marks and you can see different different marks and you can see 548 is the marks and 91.33 is the percentage okay now the bot has been closed i hope you understand how to use or how to work with the read column and read row thank you for watching webpath tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day